a wild tour story. So I'm touring in Asia, man. It's like 90% girls. Like, I mean, like, you know, 18, 19 year old girls. We're at the show, they're screaming, you know, every, everybody's having a great time. It's like all the girls in, in the front row waving their hand. There was like a group of these three girls that just kind of stood out to me and they kept kind of like, you know, really making eye contact and kind of making these gestures to me. So, you know, I'm smiling, I'm smiling everywhere. I'm just performing, you know, I'm on the stage. You know, I touch, touch people's hands as I'm performing and stuff. Anyways, this one girl reaches up and uh, she grabs my hand and like, I feel like she put something in my hand, right? So like, I'm like, oh shit. Like, I didn't see what it was or what it, I, I, you know, I, I basically, I like, I, I, like, I realized that it was money, but I didn't like know, like, like shit, she gave me money. I was like, damn, like, you know, this is cool. So like, I was whatever, I'm just performing. I didn't, I didn't think about it. After the show, like I went backstage and you know, we're gonna do the encore. And um, so anyways, I realized that she, this, this girl, she gave me 500 bucks and so, like the girls, they came back around. There was like three or four of them that was like standing in the corner. And like, I, I remember like, you know, the face, but I really liked her friend. The, so like, it was crazy. Cause like, she was trying to like roll back, you know, to the hotel after, you know, where you staying at, you know, and, and trying to talk to me. I was kind of busy. A lot, a lot of stuff was going on. There was a lot of fans, I, but I knew that I really liked her friend. And I was like, you know, I was already kind of like, yeah, you know, she was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, yeah, you know, like after the show, you know, let's go, you know, cruise or whatever. You know, I was like hooking up with the friend. And so like, I felt bad for her because like the other girl just gave me 500 bucks. So I'm like, damn, so like, I'm kind of in a hurry, so, but I wanted to give the money back because I was like, you know, I ain't trying to like take money and like to roll with you and like nothing like that, but it's just cool. So like I tried to give the money back, but, it, but I gave the money back to this other chick. Like there wasn't her, but she looked just like her. So I was like, I gave the money to her and she was like, why, why? You know what I'm saying, why? And I was like, no, oh, because you know, I gotta go and like, you know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. So I ended up taking off with her friend and I don't know if her friend, you know, like, you know, they were kind of rivaling. So I take off with her friend. I didn't realize that she was following us. The ho she was following us the whole time. So we get back to the hotel. We have a great night, you know, was, and we come down the next morning. I got to leave. I'm getting on the plane. I'm just going to drop her off at the, at the subway so she can get back home. And the girl is waiting downstairs in the lobby of the hotel. And she's like, where's my money? Where's my money? And I'm like, what money? What are you talking about? She starts like punching the other girl. And like, I was like, I grabbed the other girl. I was like trying to break this thing up. There's like media people that's there, you know what I'm saying? Cause some of the media people were staying at the same hotel. She was crazy. I was trying to get out of there as quick as possible. So I just like pick up the other girl, like, and I'm like trying to, trying to pick her up. I'm trying to like, take the other girl's hit hand off of her hair. People got pictures. That was a fucking crazy story, man. So, you know, hey, so fans, don't put money in my hands and expect something in return, all right? <laughs> my man has got a magazine of Playboy sitting on the joint and he is masturbating. You know what I mean? The, the bus has been going off the road because he's, he's getting really excited. When I walked in, with my husband, it took him aback. For some reason, he does not like new people and he doesn't like men. So when I came in with my husband, um, I think that was like a rear flag. If I kill another police, don't bring back my son who I love. So if that don't make any sense, what I should try to do is try to save another youth's life. Kanye made this crazy speech about people naming their kids after them. Like, they're already little kids named Kanye and Nas, and like, we need to do something that let people know that if they're gonna carry that name, it comes with something. And Nas, who's really funny, um, is, is like, uh, is looking at me like, what's this guy talking about? 